Today we are taking a look at the daily maintenance routine for the VR 5DE Vanguard flatbed printer. We are going to be manually purging the lines, cleaning the heads, and running a test print to check for any dropout on our machine. This maintenance should be done daily with Vanguard products in order to keep them running in their prime. First, we will make sure that the drip tray is underneath the carriage to catch the ink we are about to purge. We will open the carriage and expose the ink lines. Then we will open them and purge them in sections. First, we will do the CMYK on the left, open all four and press ink purge on the machine for about two seconds. Then close and press ink purge again for the same duration. Next, the CMYK on the right, open, purge, close, purge. Then the white ink lines in the center. Same process, open, purge, close, purge. Now we pull the drip tray back and we can clean the print heads. Using a soft cloth, wipe the print heads in one direction with minimal pressure. If they aren't clearing off as easily as you'd like, use some of the Vanguard flush solvent to get them properly treated. Okay, close the carriage, it's time for a test print. On the machine, press pin registration to indicate where your media will sit. Once media is placed, press again to disengage the pins. Once media is set, engage the vacuum to main the location of your media. On our computer, we will click the operation button on the left. This will give you the option for a nozzle test. Set your speed to low and your print control to bi-directional. Then press nozzle test. It will cue you to measure the thickness of your media. Select auto detect. The carriage will lift to measure the height of your media thickness. Then you'll be able to select apply and then start print. In addition to the nozzle test, it is important to print a solid block of white to maintain proper head efficacy. This and your test print ensures Vanguard's continued support. It is best to keep a record of these prints for the next two months. For ease of use, I have prepared a large white block file ahead of time. So I'm going to select Crop, Detect Media, and in Spot Color, White, Fill, Layout, W for white, and leave Varnish as no print. Select OK and it will measure your media thickness and print your white block. Ideally, you'll have a print that looks like this, with minimal to no broken lines and CMYK in white. If you do have any issues with the test print, repeat this process until you have a successful test print. If there are any further troubles, give us a call.